So welcome to everyone. Uh, today we move on to the uh, manufacture of potassium dichromate from using the, the corresponding ore. Dear friends, it is a very important question for question number 23. It carries a three marks. 100% question in this chapter in the annual examination. There are two aspects in this part. One is potassium dichromate and another one is a potassium permanganate. Among these two, they ask the one question for three marks. This potassium dichromate, its chemical composition K2Cr2O7. This is the formula for potassium dichromate. And this uh, potassium dichromate manufactured from an ore is called chromite. Chromite ore. And what is the chemical composition of chromite ore? Is FeOCr2O3 or FeCr2O4. This is the chemical composition of your chromite ore. By using this chromite ore, today we want the preparation or manufacture of a potassium dichromate. So, dear friends, it is more in three steps. Yes, in the first step, the chrome iron is roasted with the help of an soda ash. So, how this chrome iron, Fe? Cr2O4 is treated with an soda ash, I think or if you know sodium carbonate in presence, roasting in presence means treated with oxygen. I repeat this chromite ore is treated with soda ash, soda ash and in presence of oxygen. And in presence of oxygen, roasting is heated. Yes, in presence of heating, the formation of the product is sodium chromate, Na2Cr4. The formation of the product is a sodium chromate is formed. And followed by along with this is iron oxide. This is an Fe2O3. Iron oxide is formed and to release an carbon dioxide. Yes, this is your sodium chromate. Dear friends, chromite ore is strongly heated with soda ash to form sodium chromate. Yes, you have to balance carefully with the iron and their corresponding compound. Is a two. Yes, you have to better you can use double here the chromium. Yes, two iron, four iron. This is a two twos of first. iron is balanced. And totally four twos are eight chromium. Now automatically it becomes to the Eight sodium here it's also eight. Iron balance, it was a sixteen, it was a sixteen, chromium balance, chromium balance, and you think about your carbon. Carbon is eight, automatically it is also eight. Check it with oxygen friends. Four fours are sixteen, eight threes are twenty-four, and oxygen requires this eight fours are thirty-two, three twos are 6, 8 to the 16, 12, 14, yes, this is a 54. It requires 54. We are now just it becomes to be as a 40. It requires 14, means it becomes 15, 54, it is a 7 oxygen. You know, the first step is finished when chromite ore is converted into sodium. In second step, Sodium chromate, Na2CrO4, the sodium chromate is washed with water and finally treated with any dilute sulfuric acid. The formation of the compound Na2Cr2O7, sodium dichromate is formed. Sodium chromate is converted into sodium dichromate. This is your sodium dichromate. Along with the release of sodium ion to replace as an sodium sulfates and to release an ore. Now you have to balance friends. Yes, this is already two sodium, but chromium is balanced. Here is a two, two to the four is a two, and here is a two. Sodium is balanced. Chromium is two, so chromium is two. We check it oxygen. Four to the eight, and this is an a seven, seven one is eight. Now this reaction is balanced. Sodium chromate converted into sodium 
Now in the third step. In the third step, sodium dichromate, which is Na to Cr to O7. Sodium dichromate is treated with an aqueous solution of potassium chloride, KCl. Sodium dichromate is treated with potassium chloride to form the compound is K2Cr2O7 and release sodium chloride. And two modes, this is your final product, potassium dichromate. Yes, chromite ore is converted into potassium This is a three-step reactions involved in the manufacture of potassium dichromate by using chromite ore. Keep practicing these three steps, friends. Keep in your mind. Number balance is very important in inorganic chemistry, especially in this reaction. Therefore, one number balancing loss one mark. The three steps, three marks. Repeatedly practice, practice, practice with corresponding numbers. You can get three marks perfectly. It's a three marks question. Keep practicing this reaction or manufacturing. We continue its corresponding chemical properties in the next video. Thank you. Welcome to everyone. Uh, today, our dear friends, uh, we want the uh, properties of uh, potassium dichromate. In uh, yesterday or in the last video, we already know how to manufacture of potassium dichromate by using chromite ore or either chrome iron. Yes, after the manufacture, we have a very interesting property of uh, dichromate and uh, chromate. How the chromate is converted into dichromate and the dichromate is converted into chromate. Yes, very simple. First, we start with the chromate converts into dichromate. This is very important. This is a chromate and a dichromate ions. Yes, this is a chromate CrO4 minus 2. Yes, a dichromate is a Cr2O7. This is an, a simple chromate and a dichromate component. Yes, first we have an, a target how the chromate ion is converted into dichromate. It's a very simple friends. Yes, this uh, chromate ion is treated with an acidic medium. It's treated with an acid, but uh, we know here it is an acidic medium or either pH is less than 7. pH is less than 7, you can easy to know the component. Yes, friends, you keep yourself, the chromate is converted into Dichromate, dichromate formula Cr2O7 minus 2. Yes, keep yourself here, it is an uh, 4, here it is an uh, 7, it is an uh, odd and even number, you have to make it 2. Yes, 2 chromium, 2 chromium, 8 oxygen here, 7, the 1 oxygen is balanced with an water. And total hydrogens are 2, and then you check here, this is a 2 hydrogen. So it means chromate ion is in acidic medium to form dichromate. Similar difference uh, in the second case, the conversion of dichromate to chromate. Dichromate to chromate or either you can use pronounce is a chromate ion or dichromate. So simply dichromate formula Cr2O7 minus 2 which is converted into CrO4 minus 2. So here it is acidic, obviously here it is a basic medium Cr2O7 minus 2. Basic stands for OH minus. The conversion of the compound CrO4 minus 2. So carefully you have to balance 2 chromium. Here it is an chromium is balanced. The hydroxyl, which is balanced with the help of water, because it is basic medium or either pH is greater than 7 pH. Yes, you have to balance with this hydrogen, but we have to use here 2. 
That's seven plus two is a nine. The four twos are eight. Eight plus one is nine. So it's a very simple conversion of dichromate to dichromate ions or dichromate to the chromate ions in acidic medium and basic medium. It's a very simple JE question. Let's so keep yourself the conversion of chromate to dichromate in acidic medium and conversion of dichromate to the chromate is in basic medium. This is a simple chemical behavior of conversion of chromate to the dichromate or dichromate to the chromate ion. So this is a very simple and uh, next part we continue here the oxidation property of the dichromates. Okay friends, uh, potassium dichromate A2Cr2O7 or either sodium dichromate Na2Cr2O7 These two compounds are the powerful oxidizing agent. So how can we express they are the powerful oxidizing agent? Yes, when it reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. When it reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid, they are easy to convert it into a potassium sulfate and H2Cr2O7. This is called chromic acid. Then they are also saying a sulfuric acid to form a sodium sulfate and release H2Cr2O7. We call it is an chromic acid. Chromic acid is a powerful oxidizing agent. What it indicates potassium dichromate or either a sodium dichromate is a powerful oxidizing agent in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid or either acidic medium. They shows their acidic property like example the formation of a chromic acid. If you want to know how this oxidation will be takes place in a sulfuric acid, a very interesting reaction friends and you consider K2Cr2O7 potassium dichromate is react with sulfuric acid. It reacts with sulfuric acid to form a compound. This the potassium sulfate, already we know potassium sulfate and chromic acid and release the corresponding nascent oxygen is also formation along with water. This, this is a chrome chromic acid is react with in presence of the component is a potassium sulfate H2SO4 potassium sulfate chromium sulfate this is Cr2SO4 thrax Cr2SO4 thrax chromium sulfate and release the water along with nascent oxygen this is uh, the two potassium two potassium yes two chromium is two chromium Sulfate, you have to keep your sulfate. This is a 3, this is a 4. Yes, it requires a 4. 4 hydrogen, this is a 4 hydrogen. 4 to the 8. And now you are think for the oxygen. Yes, 7. 4 4 is a 16. This is a 16. Okay. That's 23. Now here is a 4. 4 3 is a 12. This becomes to be 4. So this becomes to be 8, 10, 20. This becomes. 3 acid oxygen. It shows the potassium dichromate is a powerful oxidizing agent because they generate a nascent oxygen. This is a molecular reaction which form a nascent oxygen when potassium dichromate is reacting. If you want to dear friends, an ionic reaction, you consider this is Cr2O7 minus 2. This is a dichromate ion. It is react with Acidic medium is react with acidic medium to formation of the compound is chromium is plus three here also this is a plus three because sulfate is minus two automatically is a plus three oxidation state the chromium plus three yes you have to balance this is a two and hydrogen is balanced with the help of releasing the water so two chromium this is a two chromium the hydrogen you can easy to balance. Carefully, you have to balance the hydrogen component. Yes, how the component will be transferred. It's a very simplest character, friends. Cr2O7 minus 2 is equal to minus 2. You can find out the oxidation state. Chromium is a 2x. Oxygen is minus 14 is equal to minus 2. 
टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस इज माइनस टू ऑलरेडी यस दिस कन्वर्टेड इंटू प्लस ऑटोमेटिकली इज प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स इज बिकम्स क्रोमियम इज बिकम्स टू बी प्लस सिक्स एंड नाउ हियर दिस इज अ क्रोमियम इज प्लस थ्री यस द डिक्रीज इन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट प्लस सिक्स टू प्लस थ्री इट शोज दिस इज एन गेनिंग ऑफ सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बिकॉज दिस इज टू क्रोमियम एस दिस इज टू क्रोमियम Which carries a six electron. You can use six electron. Dichromate ion is treated with an acid along with an accepting of six electrons. That becomes to the chromium plus three ion. Now you have to balance this oxidized reaction. If you use here six electrons, yes, you can carefully balance with your oxygen. Here it is a seven, and now it becomes to be. Yes, total reaction. You can find out the oxygen is becomes to the seven. Now oxygen is seven. Fourteen hydrogen, fourteen hydrogen. This is six electron. This is your major contribution of oxidation reaction. Yes, you can practice as early as possible. CrO seven minus two in presence of acidic medium to form chromium ion with release of Okay, then balance start Cr two O seven minus two. Now you have to balance this to Cr. This to Cr. Chromium is balanced. Oxygen is seven. This is your seven oxygen. Seven twos are fourteen. This is a fourteen. Yes, now you struggling to the electrons. This is oxidation state is becomes to plus six. Now it becomes to plus three with two electron. It is on six. no this is oxidized reaction or either it is a molecular reaction both shows dichromate is a powerful oxidizing agent keep practicing this two important reaction and in the next video friends we solve some different example to oxidation thank you welcome to everyone dear friends uh, in the today's video we continue the oxidizing properties of uh, Dichromate or dichromate ions in acidic medium. First, in our syllabus mentioned in NCERT, the conversion of iodide ion to the iodine. Iodide ion, iodide is nothing but I minus is converted into I two. The oxidation state you keep yourself is a minus one. Its oxidation state is zero. Thus, a very simple the first reaction already we have to know this uh, dichromate ion is in acidic medium. With an gaining of electron, they becomes to the chromium ion and release the water. Dear friends, it's a very simple. Already we know this is a seven. They becomes a fourteen with six electrons. As our syllabus mentioned, conversion of I minus iodide ions to the iodine. So iodide ion is converted into iodine. With loss of these six electron, yes, this is an loss of this six electron. Obviously, it requires three moles. If you consider three moles, this six will be takes place. So, how you can write this six? Very simple. I is converted into I minus with ah uh, this is gain of electrons. So, I minus is easy to gain of electrons to formation of an I. So this is a six i. Yes, easy to convert it into your six electron. As similar to your ionization energy and electron affinity. I think all of you have Cl. Cl minus is ready to accept electron. Then becomes the Cl. Similarly, this i minus is ready to accept electron. Then becomes the Cl. This is an a concept regarding oxidation property. Yes, you net balance this reaction, friends. And the electron electron is cancelled in the left and right side. Is so what total it remains? Yes, the six six electron is completely balanced now automatically. Cr two O seven minus two. This is a fourteen H plus ions. And what it remains here six iodine ions to formation of the compound two Cr plus three. And here the seven H two. And three moles of 
iodine is formed. This is our target, the conversion of iodide ion into the iodine or either conversion of I minus to the I2. I repeat once again, you keep practicing this reaction, oxidizing property in electronic carry frames. Dichromate ion is in acidic medium with gain of 6 electron, then becomes to the chromium plus 3. Yes, plus 6 is converted into plus 3. Yes, the iodide I minus ion is converted into I2. You have to balance it carefully with 6 electrons. Sir, this is 6 iodine is converted into 6. Sorry, iodide ion is converted into 3 iodine molecule. This is a simple oxidation of the your iodide. As mentioned in our syllabus, we have a second one is very important, friends. The conversion of ferrous to the ferric. Yes, so many times they ask this question: conversion of Fe plus two to Fe plus three, or some people can mention like plus two to Fe plus three. See, first step you have to already know dichromate ion or dichromate is in acidic medium with an electrons they becomes Cr plus 3 and to release the water. You already know this is a 2 Cr, this is 2, this is 7, this is a 14 and 6 electrons. This so is what it has. So this is Fe plus 2 is converted into Fe plus 3. Fe plus 2 is converted into Fe plus 3, you have to check it with an electrons. How many irons is balanced? Sir, the change in oxidation state plus 1 to plus 3. 1. Sir, every time you have the conversion with a single electron. 2 to 3. Increase in number with loss of electron. Totally, we require 6. This is 6. 6. This is 6 electrons. Yes, very interesting, very simple. And easy to balance the six electrons. Six electrons are cancelled out. And you have to easy to write this reaction. Cr to O7 minus 2 plus 14H plus remains 6 Fe plus 2 for us is converted into 2 Cr plus 3 and 7H2 and it becomes 7 this is your reaction. Very simple oxidation reaction. First one iodide to the iodine, second one ferrous to the ferric. As a similar reference, you can keep a practicing with a different example of oxidation of your acidified dichromate ion or acidified potassium dichromate. In the next video, we have another two examples of oxidation property. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Okay friends, uh, after the conversion of iodide to the iodine, ferrous to the ferric and the one more is a very important reaction is uh, the hydrogen sulfide gas is converted into a yellow solid of sulfur. It's also oxidation. With same dichromate. Yes, anybody can help me. This is an dichromate ion in presence of acidic medium. Yes, to form this is an Cr plus 3 and you release the water. Okay, friends, this is 2 Cr. We already know the 7 oxygen, this is 7, 14 hydrogens with 6 electrons. This is common for your oxidation reaction, the oxidizing property. Is what we know in this reaction the conversion of a hydrogen sulfide. This is a hydrogen sulfide is a gas, and is converted into a sulfur here. It's converted into sulfur. Yes, this is our major target today. Yes, sir. Here to release a hydrogen ion and to convert it into sulfur with the loss of electron. Yes, in hydrogen sulfide H two yes. The oxidation state of sulfur is minus 2. And in the conversion of sulfur, the oxidation state is 0. Minus 2 is converted to 0. There is a difference in 2 electrons. You keep yourself in the oxidation states. 
and keep yourself in the oxidation state yes obviously we require six electrons if you consider six electrons yes the total hydrogens is also balanced this is an h3 to the six this is an six hydrogens this becomes to the three sulfur now i repeat once again friends hydrogen sulfide is converted into sulfur minus 2 is converted into zero the difference in the oxidation state is two yes each carries a two electrons if you consider three automatically three twos are six electrons you can get it. now you can easy to balance yes now six electrons six electrons are cancelled and now this is an cr2 o7 minus 2 plus this is 14 h and this is six this is also cancelled with the six hydrogens so you have to lose this six hydrogens they becomes to 8 h plus this is becomes to the six minus 8 h plus plus 3 h2s this 3 h2s in this different side is completely balanced now here it becomes 2 cr plus 3 and here it required this already is cancelled out the 7 h2o 7 h2o and now this becomes to 3 sulfur this once again you have to check the complete 2 cr 2 cr 7 oxygen this is a 7 oxygen total count hydrogen is yes, 8 3 to the 6 6 plus 8 is belongs to the river 14 this is a 14 the 3 sulfur this is a simple oxidation reaction of a conversion hydrogen sulfide to the sulfur this is a third important reaction of your syllabus and after this things we have another one very simple already come across that reaction like a, a ferrous to ferric similarly now we have an, a simple reaction sn2 is converted into sn4 this is a Stannous to the stannic, this is a simple conversion SN2 to SN4. Do it fast Cr2O7 minus 2 in presence of acidic medium to form chromium plus 3 with the release of water. Yes, this is a 14, 6 electron, 2, this is 7. You know. And then now it becomes to the SN plus 2 is converted into SN plus 3. Keep yourself the difference in two electrons. This is two unit is a differentiate. Yes, if you consider two, it becomes six. Yes, this is an you have to carry out six. Obviously, it will be considered as a three moles to form three moles. Yes, very simple. You can use it to balance three, three, six electrons, six electrons are cancels. And next Cr2O7 two oh seven minus two. And this is a 14H, sorry, 14H plus and 3 moles of SN plus 2 is converted into 2Cr plus 3 and 3SN plus 4 and release 7H. This is our target, the conversion of stannous to the stannic or SN plus 2 to SN plus 4. There are 4 uh, oxidizing reactions in this syllabus. First, we start with one by one. I minus is converted into I2. Fe plus 2 is converted into Fe plus 3. Hydrogen sulfide is converted into sulfur. Sn plus 2 is converted into Sn plus 4. Among the these four, you can ask any one of the question for your animal examination for two mark. But keep yourself friends, you keep practicing, practicing, practicing this oxidation reaction ionic or electronic reaction of your component yes i repeat cr2o7 minus 2 plus 14h plus plus 6 electron it becomes 2 cr plus 3 plus 7h2 let's keep practicing friends all these four oxidation reaction in today's class we continue the next important manufacturer is a potassium permanganate thank you Welcome to everyone. Mm, let us move on to the D block elements. The last bit of the concept is a preparation of potassium permanganate. I think all know potassium permanganate is a formula 
KMnO4. Yes, potassium permanganate is manufactured by using an, an ore that is called as a special ore, the name pyrolocyte. Pyrolocyte is a chemical composition, is very simple. It is MnO2, it is a manganous oxide, commonly we call, but it is an ore you have to pronounce as an pyrolocyte ore. I repeat once again, friends, preparation of KMnO4 by using MnO2 or either preparation of potassium permanganate crystals by using pyrolocyte ore. This is also an uh, important question for question number as a 23. Sometimes they ask only for two marks, friends, because it involves only two steps. Uh, so many times the people can ask in uh, two marks. And uh, another one is one mark question can be add B. You know the answer that is unpaid electrons. You keep yourself. Is how to prepare this is a uh, potassium permanganate by using this uh, pyrolocyte ore. This is MnO2. When this pyrolocyte ore is uh, treated with an alkaline medium, this is an alkaline medium KOH, is uh, treated with uh, oxygen with a uh, powerful oxidizing agent you keep in your mind it is an uh, potassium nitrate KnO3. Potassium nitrate is acts as oxidizing agent which can oxidize your pyrolocyte ore into the component is very important K2MnO4. The formation of the compound is a K2MnO4 we call is a potassium manganate. The form potassium manganate and the further component is balanced with the help of and you know, water. It's very simple. Now, carefully help balance. Manganese is balanced, it's 1 ml, 1 ml. K is balanced with 4. Automatically, it becomes to the potassium is becomes to the 2. 2 is balanced with here 2 ml. And now the hydrogen is balanced. This is a 4 hydrogen. This is a 2 H2. Hydrogen is balanced. Oxygen is a 2, 2 is a 4. 4 plus is a 4. Yes, 8 is already is ready. Now here, 4 2 is a 8. 8 plus is 10 is required only to oxygen. So 2 already is there. This is a 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. I repeat, as a 2 MnO2 is react with 4 KOH in presence of oxidizing agent potassium nitrate to form potassium manganate. And in the second step, and this K2MnO4 is undergoes a disproportion, friends. The potassium manganate is undergoes disproportion in presence of either acidic medium or either in a neutral medium. You can use an acidic medium is H plus. And the formation of the compound is the permanganate MnO4 minus is permanganate ion followed by MnO2. This is followed by MnO2. The hydrogen is balanced with N of. It's very simple. I repeat, this is a potassium manganate is converted into a purple color, purple color solution of permanganate. This formation of a purple colored permanganate. You have to balance carefully, friends. K2 MnO4. Yes, you can balance with your component is a manganate ion, or either you have to balance, you have to consider this uh, potassium is a manganate ion. This is MnO4 minus 2. It's an ionic form, is MnO2. Yes, you can balance with Mn, Mn. Yes, this is your 2. Oxygen is a 4 2 is a 8, here it is an a 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, now here it is a balance 2. Automatically, this is 4 hydrogen. Means manganate ion is a disproportion in presence of your acidic or either neutral medium to form a purple colored solution of permanganate ion and as usual, your remaining manganese oxide. And after this, this color is concentrated. This color is concentrated. Finally, we form. Finally, we form purple colored. Purple colored solid. 
called potassium permanganate. This is a premium of ethics. Very simple two steps methods. Is one is pyrolosine core is oxidized with an alkali to form potassium manganate. And your manganate ion is undergoes this proportion with an acidic medium to form a solution of permanganate ion. And finally, it is concentrated to get it potassium permanganate. Yes, this is a simple method. Friends, already we know in the last video, in this chapter, we have uh, two important preparation. One is KMnO4 and another one is K2Cr2O7, permanganate and dichromate. Among these, they ask one important question. Already we know it is important in the question number 23 in your examination. Keep practicing, practicing these two preparations. We earn three marks fixed for annual examination. Yes, uh, after this preparation, we have some oxidation property of uh, potassium permanganate also, friends. We we'll discuss in the next video. Thank, thank you so much for watching and keep practice, friends. Please, thank you. So, welcome to everyone. Now, let us begin, friends. Today we have a uh, last bit of the D block elements is oxidizing property of our final compound is a potassium permanganate. So I think all of you know in uh, so many organic reaction friends, potassium permanganate is a powerful oxidizing agent in presence of uh, acidic medium as well as uh, an uh, alkaline medium. Now we have potassium permanganate is react with concentrated sulfuric acid to form potassium sulfate, manganese sulfate, MnSO4, and release of water and lessened oxygen. Very simple, it is balanced with 2, is a K2, 2MN is a 2MN SO4, SO4 is balanced 2 and 3, here are 3 sulfuric acids, S3, SO4 ions, and 3 hydrogen is a 3H2. Now, balance with oxygen friends, 4 2s are 8, S4 3s are 12, this is 20 oxygens. Here 4, 4 2s are 8, and here it is a 3. 8 plus 3 is 11, is 15, and requires 5 for the 20. Yes, this is a general elementary reaction of oxidation property. I repeat, when potassium permanganate is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid, the release a 5 moles of nascent oxygen as compared with the previous dichromate. Potassium permanganate is powerful because here they release 5 nascent, dichromate release 3 nascent. In, as our syllabus mentioned in NCRT in an ionic reaction, as potassium permanganate, this is an permanganate ion, we already know in MnO4 minus. When a permanganate ion is treated with an acidic medium, as to form Manganese is Mn plus 2 and release this is another water. It's a very simple reaction. What would change here? This is you keep yourself friends. MnO4 minus, sorry, MnO4 minus. What about its oxidation state? Is minus is minus 1. Mn oxygen is minus 8 is equal to minus 1. Automatically, X is becomes to the plus 7. The oxidation state of manganese is plus 7 here. It's change into the manganese plus 2, the oxidation state itself is here, is a plus 2. There is change in unit is a 5 unit. It means the change in 5 electrons. Yes, here it requires 5 electrons to oxidize in property. Yes, this is very simple. I repeat, MnO4 minus is manganese ion is having plus 7, it changes to the Plus 2 is decrease in number is 5 units due to 5 electrons. Now, yes, friends, you have to carefully balance this one. MnO4 is balanced, Mn, and then hydrogen is balanced. So, here totally 4 oxygen, and this is a 4 oxygen. 4 2s are 8 hydrogen, 5 electrons. This is our final reaction for this chapter. I repeat in ionic reaction once again MnO4. Minus, this is called permanganate ion in presence of acidic medium to form manganese ion and an water. 
What about the change in oxidation states? Here the oxidation state is plus 7, the change in plus 2. Plus 2 to plus, sorry, plus 7 to plus 5. Yes, this is a difference is 5 unit. 5 units means, yes, it accepts the 5 electrons. This is your oxidizing property of permanganate the manganese ions. You keep practicing this ionic reaction which helps to different oxidations of our syllabus like iodide to the iodine, ferrous to the ferric. Similarly, so many reactions, for example, oxalate to the carbon dioxide, so many reactions are there in your oxidation properties. Yes, let us begin with uh, one simple example, friends, by using this oxidizing property of our syllabus. Yes, we have the first one, conversion of conversion of iodide ion to iodine. Yes, you keep yourself I minus is converted into Yes, how this iodide ion is converted into iodine. We already know in a dichromate, but uh, we keep practicing with permanganate in a today's class. Okay, friends, we have permanganate. This is a permanganate ion MnO4 minus, which is a powerful oxidizing agent in presence of acidic medium to form manganese ion Mn plus 2 with the release of. Yes, with 4, we have to balance with the 4. This is a 4 means it is a A. Change in oxidation plus 7 to plus 2, there is a 5 electron. Now, we come to the conversion of iodine or iodide ion. This is I minus. Iodide ion is converted into I2. Sir, iodide ion is converted into I2. Yes, very simply, you have to keep yourself. Yes, it requires. Yes, this is a 2. 2 ions is easy to convert it into this is 2 is now it is a balance with electrons or here 2 electrons. Yes, now you can easy to balance friends this 2 electron concepts. So, but here it is an 5 odd number, it is an even number, you can easy to balance with a cross multiplier. This reaction is multiplied by 5, this reaction is multiplied by 2 with the cancelization of these electrons. Yakapa cross multiply Martha either Andre. Reaction is simple. Iodide, iodine ion is converted into iodine. So you have to balance two iodide ion is converted into iodine. With a two change in electrons is two electrons now already here in the name again. So I yes iode iodide which can accept electron. Yes, it can becomes to the I minus. I minus is a loss electron that becomes to the I. So similarly, yes, friends, you keep yourself, yes, the two electron. Yes, now it is cancelization of these electrons, it is balanced with cross numbers. So five twos are ten, two fives are electron, electron is cancelled. Now balance the reaction with first one is multiplied by two. Yes, this is a two MnO4 minus plus eight twos are sixteen hydrogen ions. Now, this is multiplied by 5. 5 twos are 10 I minus. Now, this is multiplied by 2. 2 Mn plus 2. Plus 4 twos are 8 H2O. Plus 5 multiplied. This is a 5 I. This is your iodine is easy to preparation. Conversion of iodide ion to the iodine. This is the first example of your conversion of iodide to the iodine or oxidizing property of permanganate. Yes friends, you keep practicing of this oxidizing property. In the next video we have another two examples. One is a ferrous and another one is an oxalate ion. Thank you. Thank you so much for the watching. Okay dear friends, uh, uh, we have a last uh, video for the topic of a B block is the last oxidizing property. The first in this category today we have conversion of ferrous to ferric. This is a simple conversion of ferrous to ferric. We know the basic reaction of a paramagnate is a MnO4 minus in presence of 
एसिडिक मीडियम में तो फॉर्म एम एन प्लस टू इज रिलीज ऑफ वॉटर नाउ हाइड्रोजन इज बैलेंस विथ ऑक्सीजन दिस इज एन फोर एच टू एट हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज प्लस सेवन प्लस टू चेंज इन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज क्वाइट फैमिली अबाउट दिस ऑक्सीडाइजिंग प्रॉपर्टी फ्रेंड्स इन दिस कैटेगरी इज अ फेरस इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू फेरिक फेरस इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू फेरिक विथ चेंज इन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज ओनली वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज कैन चेंज बिकॉज वन यूनिट कैन चेंज बट टोटली नेट बैलेंसिंग ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन रिक्वायर्स here it is ana yes because it is a five electron it is multiplied by five this five five is cancelled out now this is a permanganate ion is in acidic medium 8h plus is a five ferrous ion and now here mn plus 2 four water molecule as usual and this is a five ferric ion Very simple reaction in oxidizing property. I repeat, friends. Permanganate ion is undergoes of oxidizing presence of a acidic medium to becomes a Mn plus two or manganese ion. Your ferrous is converted into ferric because the change in only one unit due to one unit. This is a one electron, and the electron cancellation is the reaction is multiplied by five. Yes, this is a net reaction. The oxidizing reaction under birth of the number. इली फेरस तो फेरी काटता है दे प्लस थ्री दो प्लस थ्री वन डी यूनिट चेंज आ गया था इन्दर ना वन इलेक्ट्रॉन ने बर्बर करने सर इधर बैलेंस कैंसलाइजेशन आ गया इन्दर दे कैन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फाइव एंड दिस इज वर नेट रिएक्शन दिस इज सिंपल कन्वर्शन ऑफ फेरस तो दी फेरिक इन यूअर परमांगनी � For example, a few C two O four minus two is going to be into C O two. So what it means C two O four minus two is means oxalate ion. This is called oxalate. Oxalate ion is going to be into carbon dioxide. Conversion of oxalate ion to the carbon dioxide by using oxidizing property of manganese. Very simple. We know this reaction is quite familiar, and now conversion of zinc C two O four minus two of zinc ion is converted into carbon dioxide. So first, we have to balance this two carbon, this two carbon. Is so what about the change here? We can find out the oxidation state. C two O four minus two is equal to minus two. Two carbon two x oxygen is minus eight is equal to minus two. X is becomes to the Okay, find out a six plus three. Now carbon dioxide CO two is equal to zero. X carbon is X oxygen is minus four automatically zero. X is equal to plus. the change in one unit for one carbon. One unit for one carbon. We have a two unit. Yes, automatically it is an. Only one the change I give them apply. One the change only in input gori this number is chart type. One the change I give them. But the other carbon is there. You can consider two electrons. Are they connected? Okay. Yes. Now we have to balance this reaction with cancellation. So here two, there is a five odd and even. This reaction is multiplied by five. This reaction is multiplied by two. Now this five two is a ten electron. Five two is a ten electron is cancelled. The final reaction two Mn O four minus A two is a sixteen hydrogens plus now you have to balance with five five oxalate ions. It becomes two Mn two minus ions, eight water molecules, and five two is a ten. This is a ten carbon ions. This is the final oxidation reaction, the conversion of oxalate to carbon dioxide. Yes. This is oxidation, the conversion of oxalate to the carbon dioxide. You keep practicing these oxidation reactions. They mentioned in dichromate as well as permanganate, friends. They are almost similar: iodide to the iodine, ferrous to the ferric, and oxalate to the carbon dioxide.
you keep practicing these preparations and their oxidizing properties and every time in the annual examination they have a preparation only and in midterm and preparatory some annual question papers supplementary question paper they ask oxidizing property also dear friends keep watching and practicing these oxidation keep in your mind the balancing reaction is necessary balancing reaction is very important otherwise you will lose the marks thank you yes we will meet in the next video by the topic f block thank you so much